And Chris Ockley here with Rockhurst senior Zach Carriott, who's uh, headed to Oregon for Nike Foot Locker Nationals after a fifth fifth place finish. What's that sound like? Uh, it's it still hasn't hit me, especially after the 13th place finish last week. It's, yeah, it's crazy. But well, I, I just felt so you know disappointed and felt bad for you last week because you're such a talented and uh, tough runner, and to have a, a day like that, I know had to be tough and. Uh, um, but uh, still all state and still bringing home that team trophy had to be nice. But um, but you said before we started on camera that, that that needed to happen for you, that you're putting too much pressure on yourself. And yeah. tell me about a little bit about that. Yeah, I was the whole week uh, before, I was just on edge at practice and everything. And, you know, on like Thursday, I kind of apologized to my team, like, hey guys, you know, sorry, like, I'm, I'm freaking out too much. And then. Yeah. And, and that still didn't help. Like Friday, Saturday morning, I was a wreck. And uh, so that was my goal this week was to just relax. You know, I normally have a really rigid routine that I stick to. And, yeah. Like always eating the same things. Right. Before morning of, but I completely threw it out the window today. And just had fun. And mm -hmm. It was great. And that well, and it's funny because that reminds me of. Jenny Barringer's, you know, the, the Colorado and the Olympian and the yeah. fifth year senior at Colorado, was it, what, two years ago? Mm -hmm. You know, here on this course, you know, after setting collegiate records in the track and, and coming out to, you know, be big favorite and cross and and just falling apart and she just, you know, put too much pressure on herself and, you know, you got to relax and have fun. And um, But tell me about, about, about today and what, um, how, when were you able to put that, put that last week behind you and, and focus on this week and and have fun. Um, well, it really just started. I mean, as soon as we left, I was just, I was just kind of not even really thinking about the race. And yeah. Even all the way up until the or like our team huddle two minutes before the race, we were just joking around and stuff and laughing. And even when the race started, we were still kind of joking around and laughing. But yeah. I, um, I was just kind of running controlled, running in the back, not running anyway. That was. <laughs> Stay not behind. Running. Yep. Well, unfortunately, you're you're good at doing that. I'm, just, you know, you're not, you know, five feet, you know, which would be, I guess, desirable to stay behind yeah, the others. But uh, so I'm sure, sure others were trying to push you to the lead and let st sit behind you. But yeah, well, and it, it worked out nice. I didn't have to break any wind until obviously the final stretch when that was inevitable. But yeah. at that point, I saw uh, second and third place runners come up behind me, and then I looked behind me and I saw I kind of had fifth place yeah. behind me, and I was like, all right, I got fourth place. Fine, yeah. So. What? How did you come through the mile and two mile? Did you know what kind of place I'm trying to? I don't. I don't remember seeing where quite you were at. Um, Do you remember? Mile, I saw like 25th. Yeah. I don't know if it was like five flat for the first mile. Second mile, I'm not sure on the place. Probably like 15. Ended up maybe like 10, 10 maybe. Yeah. So I mean, I felt really controlled and relaxed, and I knew I was gonna have a lot left for like the last K or so. Yeah. So, uh, it was. It was just you know running pretty good tactics. Yeah. What did you think about the uh, the hay bales jumping uh, over those? Is last year they really killed me? Yeah. Because uh, especially some some guys who are taller and, and you know bigger longer legs don't like that at all, and some yeah. some are decent and going on the steeple. Well, so. Because some people will either jump over them completely or plant a foot on them. And this year I planted a foot on the top of it. And yeah. I think it helped a lot. So. Uh, yeah, I, I think if you plant a foot on the top, you can kind of push yourself off. Right. And it, I think it helps a lot. Yeah. So. What, uh, what's obviously you're excited now, but what are the thoughts about heading to Portland and, uh, you know, to face the national competition? And, and uh, what, 12th, 13th last year here? Remind me. Uh, 12th. 12th, yeah. okay. Um, well, that was my number one goal was to repeat that state. Yeah. So to not get that is kind of a bummer, but this is... Makes up for it pretty yeah, good, pretty yeah. Good. Um, I mean, it's what I've been working for all summer. I started just doing a bu bunch of different stuff this summer, like biking, water running. I was I was training for a triathlon. I never ended up doing one, but uh, yeah. I think the training was good. Yeah. So, just all the work that I put in. Every time, like when I'm you know, in the pool, water running by myself, is so boring. I just think, you know, I, this is stuff I gotta do if I want Right. Get nationals. So, yeah. Uh, so I got there, and hopefully I can, you know, try and get a All American spot. Yeah. Yep. What? Uh, and obviously they put on a great show there, and just a great meet and a great event. Is that uh, obviously those the 
festivities that go around it. Are you excited to, to see that and experience some professional runners and some of the others yeah. top of the country? Yeah, that was one of the things that I always, because last year I was still, you know, always on my rigid, like, game plan and stuff, and I was like, man, they're, everybody's just having fun and stuff. How yeah. are they all focused? But now I kind of realize, you know, you don't really need to be, I mean, there's a point where you need to be focused, but you got to be loose at the same time. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a lot of fun. And tell me uh, what it was like. Uh, first Rockers team trophy last week. Yeah, or was that the, with you know their strong tradition, but being able to bring the school and the coaching staff there for a trophy. Tell me what that was like. It was it was awesome. I mean, obviously right after the race, I was disappointed with the yeah. finish, but uh, Coach Dirks he he pulled the top seven. All we all went over to, uh, by ourselves, and he was talking to us, and he was like, guys, we got second, and it was just it. It, it was right up there with winning state. Yeah. Like, to, to guys who have a state title getting, or a state team title getting second, doesn't seem like that much. But to us, it was huge because we used to be a program that to where even getting a state was good. Yeah. And our senior class we completely just changed the culture there. Right, and, right. Uh, so just to kind of see the football team's going to have to watch out now yeah, for the uh, we, cross country we tradition is coming. This year. They're, they're out. So, yeah. But it, it's just. It was great for us to just to see all of our hard work finally come together. And yeah. There's no one in the state of Missouri I'd rather go to the six I did over this year. Yeah. So looking ahead now, what's how many weeks till nationals? Let's see. It's the third. Okay, uh, so three weeks or so. Yeah. And are you gonna try to do Foot Locker or uh, or, uh, no, or just, coaches just, just relax and yeah. training? Okay. Well, what uh finish up here? What what's the uh, the college decisions looking like. I don't know. You have to tell me, but it was just the tension from schools and a couple coaches yeah. here that are well, obviously. I, I, I'll give you the facts. I visited Notre Dame and I visited Georgetown. Um, I'm looking to visit a few more. I don't know what the others are. If the price is right, right? Yeah, no, of just course. kidding. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, maybe make one more visit in December, maybe a couple more in January, and then I'll be deciding here. Yeah. So, it's a tough process, I know, and uh, good luck with that. And uh, just congratulations, a great, great career, and a uh, great race today, and have a great time in Portland, and uh, hopefully uh, we uh, flight back for, to Kansas City area with two All-Americans in three yeah. weeks. So congratulations. Thank you.